this video discusses um, using the Adobe Camera Raw uh, AI Denoise and uh, enhancement features the way I, I use it for uh, all my work now. Pretty simple. Uh, I've got uh, five files here. I'll show you they were over here in the finder. I selected them. I just grab them all. They open. And then uh, once the dialog pops up in Photoshop, this is the Adobe Camera Raw dialog. Select all. Uh, right click on the files and click enhance and I would say pretty strongly uh, that when you do uh, enhance I, I do not like going very high on this denoise thing especially at low ISO but 10 seems to be an ideal setting which removes sort of a background level of noise and really cleans up the image making it much better for focus stacking you know instead of false date detail and then enhancing the raw details complements that uh, very much. Now, if you have a really noisy photo or high ISOs, you might want to crank this up, but you will start losing fine, fine detail uh, in some areas if you crank that up. So just stick with this by default. Shoot at low ISO whenever possible. So anyway, you click Enhance 5 Photos, and then you're going to click Done, and it's uh, one on the other screen. It's not too exciting, but what you'll see is it uh, it'll take a fair amount of time to get this job done even on my Mac Mac uh, Pro M2 uh, Ultra 20 core uh, with its fancy GPU we're talking maybe 20 seconds each I'm not sure how much so you're gonna have to wait a little bit and it's modal so that's kind of a bummer um, now when I do this uh, you noticed on the file size the original file was 108.7 megabytes here and this uh, enhanced one is 239. I do not save these enhanced files because, well, you can see they're at least twice as big, and sometimes they're three times as big. So in my workflow, I'm going to do this. I'm going to create these enhanced guys, these uh, DNGs, and uh, those are the ones I'm going to convert for the focus stack or whatever, or whatever other purpose I have. But when I'm done with them, I'm going to throw them away. Now be a little careful there because if you modify this, the conversion settings on the DNGs, you want to go back and copy and paste those conversion settings to the original. Because if you're going to throw this guy away, then you're going to have um, the same name plus dot .xmp sitting there and you'd lose it. So you'd open these guys up and copy paste the settings. Um, let's just do that. It, it's almost done. Anyway, uh, regrettably, this is the workflow you, you, you have to use because Adobe doesn't just give you a checkbox to say, you know, open this, enhance. I've asked them that a number of times. They've made some vague promises about doing something about it, and I expect we'll see some solution in the future. All right, so let's suppose we went to this enhanced one, and we, we uh, well, I said we're going to push it four-tenths of a stop instead of three-tenths. I'll just click Done. And now, now you'll see it's got a, a change. It's got this XMP sidecar, which is modifying this. But this original RAF RAW file doesn't have that. How do you fix that? You grab them both, open them up. Here's my DNG. I'll say copy edit settings. And then I go over to my RAF. You'll see it's got a 0.33 going on here. And we're going to paste edit settings. Now it's at 0.4. So now everything matches the DNG. Okay, I'm going to click Done, and let, if I were done with my process, I'd go and grab all these enhanced guys here, and bam, they're gone, and the XMPs, and they're gone. And that, I can always go back and enhance them and do them another time, but once I've done a focus stack, I have my finished file. I do not want to store, you know, th 3 gigabytes if I can store 1 or 1 1.5 gigabytes. It just gets out of hand. Um, so that's the way I use enhanced details in all my workflow today.